guys, so today's video is going to be a makeup collection video. So I'm going to be going through what I would take if I was going away. So like today I'm going to, I'm at my dad's house, I'm not at my mum's. So I've come to my dad's and I've just bought everything that I'll be wearing tomorrow. I won't be wearing it all but I'll be wearing most of it. So I'll start with the brushes first and then I'll go on to the makeup. So I keep my makeup in this little PS makeup brush holder thing as you can see there. It does say it's £2. You actually do get like a proper travel thing. But um, I just took them out and put them in this to bring with me because it's easier. So the first brush I got is from Fantasia Professional. And I just bought this in Malta. And then I have a powder brush. A powder brush, yeah. From Wilco. This was like £4. And then I have a little brush that I bought off eBay. And I use this for highlight. Then I have a Real Techniques Expert Base brush. I have a another brush from eBay. This is a Primat brush for powder. I have um, a Studio London Studio London contour brush. I have another eBay brush. I have another eBay brush and then they have all the face brushes so they're all my face brushes and these are all eyeshadow brushes so I have this one which is from eBay I have this one which is the unicorn brush I got from Metal Hall this is an eBay brush eBay brush eBay brush Primark eBay brush eBay brush eBay brush Naked Palette Brush, Real Techniques Brush, I'm not actually sure which one this is. And now I'm going to go from the actual makeup. As you can see there is a light in this bag and that is because my tweezers have switched on. So these are my tweezers and they look like this. And then they've got a button and you can switch the light on. Sorry if I'm blinding you. But yeah you can switch the light on so then when you're tweezing your eyebrows you can see exactly where you're tweezing and it's just a little light. So then I have the NYX Professional Makeup for Pro Palette for eyeshadow and um, I currently have two eyeshadows in there and I'm actually just going to change this one to the top because I prefer it at the top. So yeah, that I have two at the minute. I'm probably going to get a lot more but I have these in the shades Chaser and Midnight. Which the midnight is, is more of a purpley black. So then I have this Blushing Hearts Triple Bake Blusher from I Love Makeup, which is like the Too Faced one, it's like a dupe of it, I'm guessing. So, yeah. Then I have a 17 Divine and Concrete Contour Kit, which looks like this with contour and highlight. I don't use the highlight, but I do use the contour and I want a natural contour. Then I just have a Primark setting spray and then I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit which is that which is like this it's dirty it's very used Anastasia Beverly Hills um, highlight main child palette which just looks like this and I did drop it so I had to pick, fix the purple and I have hip pan in this shade because it's definitely my favourite, but now I want that take. But I think I'm leaning more towards Star and Blue Moon now, which I'm liking the silver. Sorry about that, someone called me. So next I have this PS Eyeshadow, eye, eyeshadow palette, which is Eye Candy. It's just called Eye Candy, and mm -hmm. it looks like this. And it's got... Well, it's too long, early. One. It's got well, nine nine different shades <laughs> I'm trying to film a video Ellie please could you close my door Ellie 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 could you just close my door please could you just close my door so I can film a video please so next I have the stay matte 
um, powder and pink for pink blossom which is 002 and as you can see I use that a lot so we'll have to get a new one of them eventually then I have three different mascaras I have is it three yeah I have one by number seven I have one by Ramel London and I have one by Avon so I've got these three and then I've just got a beauty blender but two beauty blenders they're very dirty both of them and then I do have this um I can't even remember what they're called these but yeah I just got that and then I have this Technique gel eyeliner which did come with a little eyeliner pen but it's an eyeliner brush but it's somewhere in here actually no it's not I forgot to bring it so I kind of use it anyway and then I have this velvet lipstick in shade gravity and a it's a really nude shade and I really like it. Then I just have a Make Make Me Up eyeliner. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown. Then I have the Anastasia Anastasia eyebrow brush, in, which is number twelve. Then I have the Kylie Jenner lipstick in shade Coco K. Then I have this Freedom eyebrow pomade in ash brown, and this is really dark. So if I'm doing like a dark brow, I will use this. But if I want like a light brow, I will use my Anastasia one. But I think I want to try and start using this again because I really did like using that. Then I have the Precisely My Brown pencil by Benefit, and the Gimme Brow by Benefit also. And then again for the last brow product I have this All About Me, All About the Brow eyebrow kit by Makeup Gallery which is just from Poundland and it's really good. So then for lips I just usually wear with a baby lips if I'm not and then I'll wear the lipsticks but if not I will have my baby lips with me. And then I also have this NYX liquid cream lipstick. Oh which is in the number seven, number zero seven. And again, this is like a chocolatey nude lipstick. And then for concealer and foundation, depending on what, when I wake up, I, can, I usually decide when I do my makeup whether I want like a matte finish or a not matte finish. So if I want a matte finish, I will use the Infallible 24 Hour Matte by L'Oreal Paris. And I absolutely love this. I am in shade 20 Sand. But then also if I don't want like a, a full matte finish, then I will use the Infallible 24 Hour by L'Oreal Paris, which is in the bottle. And this one's in like the tube. So I have both of them. Sometimes I will mix them together because um, they're really good together. They really last long. Both of them last really long. And I've actually won this one for one of my spots day events at the school. And I was absolutely sweating. It stayed on. It didn't get patchy. So I definitely recommend this one. And I also recommend this one because I wore this when it was a really hot day. It was like 33 degrees. And it was really, really good. And it stayed on. So I definitely, um, I definitely recommend these two foundations. And then lastly for concealer, I use the Collection Last Day Perfection 16 Hour Wear Concealer. I love this. I do find that it's better than a lot of high end ones. So if you haven't got these, then definitely go get it. I'm in Cool Medium, which is shade number two. And then I've got the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade GC972 Natural. So yeah, I have that. And that is it for everything that I use so if you want to see more videos like this then make sure you give this video a big thumbs up you make sure you go and subscribe and follow and do all that on these social medias here and make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and comment down below for more videos so thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching bye, -bye. <laughs>